Alright, this video is going to be about using the arc length formula. And the arc length formula basically says S, which represents the arc length, is equal to R times theta. R is going to be the radius of the circle, and theta is going to be the angle measure, but it's got to be in radians, okay? You don't want to use degrees. So, you know, again, basic idea. You've got a little circle, here's your radius R, some angle theta, uh, the length, uh, you know, this, this little uh, curvy length, that's the arc length S. Okay, so a couple problems dealing with this. Nothing at all uh, too complicated at all, uh, hopefully. Uh, part A, we're going to find what's the length of an arc intercepted by an angle of 15 degrees on a circle with radius 20 meters. Okay, so basically same idea as before. We've got, you know, there's a terrible circle. This uh, point has definitely got to be in the center of the circle. Okay. But we've got some uh, angle here, 15 degrees. Okay, it's a little bigger than 15 degrees, but just trying to fit everything in there. Um, the radius here is 20 meters, and we're just trying to find this little length here. So I know that S is going to be uh, R times theta. Well, my R value, that's the radius, which we know is 20. And again, we don't want to plug in 15. We've got to convert uh, 15 degrees into... Uh, radians for our theta. So let's see, so we know that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So let's see, if we divide by 180, by 180, we'll get pi over 180 radians equals 1 degree. But now I'm simply going to multiply both sides by 15, by 15. Um, so we'll have that 15 degrees is equivalent to, uh, what's 15 over 180 reduced to? I think, uh, let's see, so if we divided by, uh, so if it was 150, it would be 10. It looks like we're going to get, uh, it looks like 1 over 12. So pi over 12 radians is going to be equivalent to 15 degrees. Okay. So that's all we basically have to do is simply plug that in now for theta. We'll simply plug in, well, pi over 12, uh, our radians. And again, this is all in meters. So really we can simply just, uh, you know, grind this out on a, on a calculator. So I'm going to do that here real quick. And I'm going to approximate, so let's see, uh, 20 divided by 12, uh, I guess 4 goes into both of those. That would be, what, 5, uh, 5 thirds times pi, so that's going to be roughly equal to 5 thirds times, well, 3.14. So let's see, if we multiply that by 5 thirds, uh, I am getting that this equals 5.23 repeating. So I would say the arc length is roughly equal to 5.23 meters. Okay. Let's do one more here real quick. Let's do the other one. Same basic idea. What's the length of the arc intercepted by an angle of 210 degrees on a circle with a radius of 2.9 feet? So exact same thing. Uh, so we'll have S equals R times theta. Again, our radius in this case was given to be 2.9 feet. But same thing, we have to convert 210 degrees into radians. So we saw that pi over 180 radians was the same thing as 1 degree. So now we can simply multiply both sides by 210. By 210. Let's see, so we'll have 210 degrees on the right. Let's see, we can just cancel out the zeros. Let's see, the biggest number that will go into 21 and 18, I believe, is 3. So we'll get 7 pi over 6 radians. That'll be the same thing as 210 degrees. So now we'll just plug that in for our theta. And I'm just going to do the same thing as before. So we've got 2.9 times 7 over 6. And let me make my little curvy equal sign. So this is now approximately equal to, I'll write the pi as 3.14. So let's see, so 2.9 times 7 times 3.14 divided by 6. I am getting this to be uh, 
we'll round off, let's see, this is roughly 10.6236 repeating. That's exactly what it is. So let's round this off again. I'm going to say roughly 10.62. And again, we were talking about feet at the very beginning, yes. So I would say uh, approximately equal to 10.62 feet would be the length of that intercepted arc.